Thank you so much, Dave, and great to be with you all. I've got a ton of great content, obviously, so great to be a part of this awesome event. Love these festival of traders, uh, really educational sessions. It all starts with education. I'm going to help educate you about a new strategy we've been using to help even small account traders hit options home runs. So it's all about getting more bang for your buck. You hear more bang for your buck, and you hear a lot of hype about how do you, you know, kind of weed out the noise and the hype from what's really actually working. Obviously, every trade has risk. There's going to be times where we lose. We're going to talk about that too. And so with that in mind, I want to get started and say, you know what, let's actually remind you, of course, that the information I'm sharing in today's presentation is based on our proprietary research, and it's intended for illustrative purposes only. What I share with you today should not be considered specific advisory recommendations. As you know, stock and options trading have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. The past performance of any trading system or method is not necessarily indicative of its future results. Do see our terms of use on our BigTrends.com homepage for more information here. So. As Dave alluded to, everything has risk. We've got to talk risk always when we're talking about how can we uh, look to get more bang for our buck and for your buck in your trades going forward. If you don't know me, I've been trading options for over 34 years. I caught the trading bug while I was a student at Duke University and went on to then uh, ultimately found BigTrends.com back in 1999. So we're on our 25th year of doing business, serving tens of thousands of people all over the globe with the Big Trends methodologies. My whole philosophy is it's got to be based on a systematic, repeatable approach to trading. You cannot just uh, get stuck in just one thing and doing that all the time. you got to be adaptable, but you do have to be able to execute a system quantitatively and not let your emotions get involved. Not let the noise, the news, the hype, the what your friends are talking about, about what they scored on, affect your judgments. And the system tells a tale for me. Okay, so we're going to share with you today this strategy. It's our newest one here at TheBigTrends.com. Uh, site. It's called Home Run Options Trader. And I'm going to share with you how we find home run trades. These are tactics I've learned over nearly three and a half decades worth of options trading, both hits and misses, and share with you basically patterns of success, right? You're looking for a repeatable pattern. We're going to share with you a bunch of success stories as well as what it looks like when a trade doesn't work and how you say uh, sayonara, whether it's a winner or a loser, talk about how we manage trades with profit targets and trailing stops, um, and then share with you how you can be participating, including get a bunch of extra key educational gifts so we can actually, it's not a black box system, when you become a subscriber, you actually get the inner workings of the system uh, explained to you so you can follow right along at home as well. Let's start by looking at a winning trade example from today. That's right. We're talking about something we just cashed in on, and then we'll get into how this strategy works. So we we're ringing the register today, and you know, the market was choppy as all get out today, right? But we were ringing the register on MPC. It's Marathon Petroleum, big oil name, and MPC is the symbol. So last week, we called out a trade last Thursday morning. We said, get into these call options. And we're going to talk about why here in, in a, over a multiple examples. But we said, okay, get in. Our entry is back here on this circle on the left side of the chart. Okay, and we said, get into the April monthly. This is the April 19th expiration. You know, here it is still early March last week, right? Uh, and that was actually on my birthday, March 7th uh, last week. I remember it well because basically, look, 200 strike call. Look where MPC is trading. MPC is trading at about 180 here, right? You're saying, hold on, you're buying 20 points or just over 10% out of the money? Isn't that basically a high-risk trade? Hey, it is a trade where you are taking on the, the fact that if you held that to the bitter end of the April 19th expiration and it didn't get past 200, you would lose everything you put into that trade. Let me first be clear about that. But let me also be clear with we're not going to hold it to the bitter end. These trades typically have about a week or so to play out at most. And so you're going to see in these examples that I share with you that, hey, if it's not working, we're going to talk about how we get out very quickly in as little as a couple of trading sessions. But if it is working, we give it a chance to keep running. And you see, at first when we got into this trade, it wasn't really moving in our favor. You see, it was drifting against us here. The price action is drifting down a little bit. You say, uh-oh, isn't that a bad sign? But we have two different indicators we're using here. The middle one is called the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index. And again, you get all my settings here when you uh, get signed up as a subscriber. I can't give out everything for free here, but I can give you the basic thing. You can go study it yourself. Percent R is Larry Williams' percent range indicator. But it becomes more like a trend following indicator. When these things go overbought and then they stay overbought, 
or if they come back in for what we call a retest, CCI was coming in for a retest right at that short-term low uh, that following uh, this week's Monday morning, right, the start of this week. So we were saying it's crunch time here. It, it held up on a closing basis. This is an hourly chart, by the way. These are 60-minute intervals on candles. So the idea here is that we're looking at market structure here. Um, breakouts are what we're after. We're trying to minimize the fake outs. But the idea is that, look, structure of this we thought was still bullish, even though we got stuck in a little pause. This is why I don't buy the, the options that are going to expire in a, in a few days. I buy options that usually have at least a month to go before expiration. So that helps to offset the fact that we're buying them out of the money enough to make sure we can get our premiums down to a buck or less. We paid 92 cents on average. That's $92 to control 100 shares of stock in one options contract. By the way, what would 100 shares of stock on MPC cost you? Would it cost you about 18 grand, right? You're controlling $18,000 worth of stock for less than 100 bucks. So you see where the leverage potential is here. If this thing gets moving like we think it will, then we're going to want to be a part of that ride. Now, if it doesn't, we'll talk about how we get rid of trades that the structure breaks down. This one hung in there, started to rally back up. Notice what happened this morning. Here we are this morning, right? This is Wednesday. March the 13th, right? This morning, stock starts to rocket in the first hour of the trading day. You can see it had finished yesterday around this 182 level, just under it. And then first hour, it gets up here to 188. Look at that. So basically you say, look, first hour, we we're selling the first half of our position where? At a double. When we can get a double on our original investment, we sell half our position out at 100% gain or better in some cases when it gaps past our double target. Why would you sell half of your position at 100% gain? Well, you think about this and you say, well, the reason, if I can get it going back to where we were here, that the idea is, look, we want to sell half of the double because you get your risk capital back into your pocket, into your account in the safety of cash. Right. When you can get all of your risk capital back in the safety of cash and still have half of your position on, now you have the proverbial free trade. Right. Now you have a situation where even if the other half that's still on crashed and burned to nothing, you would still have a break even if you sold the first half out of the double. Right. So we bought it at 92 bucks a contract. We sold it out this morning at 184 bucks, a buck 84. And you say, okay, well, it's not even to 200 yet. It's at 188 at best. How is it that we're able to double our money and the stock hasn't even gotten to the strike price of 200 yet? Because that time value that you were paying for, you're paying for all time value. This is something that even when I started big trends over 24 years ago, I wasn't willing to do this. Now I'm saying we've, we've I think, really mastered this to help a lot of traders to start to understand what you've been missing out on for so long or that if you buy these you hold them to bitter end that's not the right way to go you want to say look it's got to move quickly the structure's got to stay intact this one it took a couple of days to get going but it did get going and we had basically about you can see five plus weeks to go before the expiration so here we are in about now we're on about the fifth full day in this position, right? Last Thursday and Friday, then Monday and Tuesday. So here we're starting off our fifth day holding this thing and it's rocketing to the upside. Selling half this morning at a double. Then later in the day today, you see it got up to the triple. The triple is our second half target. So if we sell half at 100% gain, we go for 200% on the remainder. We'll also talk about how we trail our profits in case they don't get up to that 200% gain. How do you get out of the other half? We'll get into that too. But you see, because it pop on up even more again the market was down today folks and we caught mpc for a really nice score to the upside it shows you there's always a bull market and always a bear market somewhere don't get stuck on thinking that you just have to be on, on the right side of the market know that we can trade in both directions and we're going to do that for our home run options trader subscribers so 92 bucks ultimately turned in today to as you can see here about 276 bucks was our final target achieved and now we're done with the trade, right? So think about if you make 100% and 200% divided by two, you made about 150% total. If you put a thousand bucks in, that would be like a $1,500 profit or so on that trade. Uh, now that's not gonna happen every trade. And again, when I show you past history, I want you to know this doesn't guarantee future results. Future results will vary. There will be losing trades as well as winners. There will be drawdown periods as well as run up periods. So know that you must be consistent in how you 
allocate capital. What we're showing you here is if you allocated just a thousand bucks maximum on every trade that our home run trader system called out, going back to the beginning of 2021 through today, including the MPC trade, you can see that a $5,000 account would have grown to almost 20K, 19,752 for a $14,752 profit gross before commissions, before subscription investment. As you know, commissions have come down dramatically uh, in options with no more ticket charges. Uh, when I got started trading options in 1990, their ticket charges were 30 or 40 bucks, even if you traded one contract. Now one contract should not cost you more than a dollar in and a dollar out at most. And if you're active or semi-active, talk to a lot of traders who are getting their commissions down dramatically below that. So you're keeping the vast majority of what you make these days. But again, you've got to always factor that in to your investment decisions. But the key is we did not compound this. We said we're going to, even as a portfolio has grown from 5,000, almost 20K grows, we're saying, look, we're still using 1,000 bucks to trade. We're saying that will keep you from compounding and potentially getting too much volatility into your portfolio. Sure, we can show it bigger, but the bottom line is that we'd rather you be consistent in your capital allocation over time and stick with the system over a long, long time. So another example of that, this is CVS Pharmacy. You would think that a pharmacy stock would not move quickly, but you can see that when the, the big tell on both of these indicators here is that you got the CCI and the percent R, both of them connecting together here right as we, the stock was about to break out, right? You can see we're getting into CVS, stock's near 75 bucks. You can see we're going to tend to buy out of the money options to get an option price at 100 bucks or less per contract controlling each 100 shares. We paid 97 bucks or $97 to control 100 shares of stock that would have cost you about 7,500 bucks. So you look at this and say, okay, so we paid 97 bucks. What are we trying to get? First target at a double. You can see we've got just better than that 101% as it popped up later that afternoon into the next morning. You can see that when both of those indicators together are breaking out on the same exact hourly close, that's go time, folks. That's, uh, yes, monopoly. It is pass and go and giving us a good opportunity to get paid on that trade. You can see this last one here. The, the bottom indicator did cross, but the top one did not. Therefore, that is a fake out and not a breakout. We did not trade that and we stayed away from that shake shake out back down right so you want to, we can't minimize and get rid of every fake out but we can get rid of a lot of noise and try to really increase your confidence level when we're calling out a trade via real time email alert you can also get it as a whatsapp alert on your smartphone when you become a subscriber that's like boom we caught that first leg up we doubled it on that first uh rectangle there uh, when the stock you can see has gone just slightly in the money, right? We're just over the 78 strike that we paid for, and this was back in mid-December, buying out to the mid-January, about a, a month out expiration. This happened in a matter of hours, right? It took four hours, uh, about three hours to four hours on the first day, and then the next morning on the pop-up right off of the open. Thank you very much. Take the money and run. Now, look, when you've got that first half out, do you bail on the other when you get a brief little adverse move against you right here the next day? No, you say, look, this is still giving what we call a successful retest on that low. So that's actually support. And you can see we get a couple of these other retest points, the, the green bar there, CCI is hanging in right around this key support. Percent R is doing the same thing, holding right into that about 78 and a half support level. So it pauses there, right? And this is where a lot of people get shaken out through those little flag patterns, those little sideways congestion, catch its breath type of a type of a situation here. Those pauses refresh in a lot of cases. They they typically are not when you've got a big run up, then you go through a pause, a little sideways flag. That's usually catching its breath for the next leg up. It doesn't guarantee that's going to happen. But it's saying, you know what, uh, our indicators are still set up that it would make another leg up. And we it did. You can see then uh, that following Tuesday, rocket on up towards about 81. And now the 78 calls, of course, going to 81. Just intrinsically are worth at least three bucks at 81. Right? You got a right to buy at 78. It's already at 81. And of course, we paid just under a buck. We're actually exiting that into that move up and taking that out at the $3 or so range, 204% on the second half of our position. On 10 contracts invested, nine or $70 invested, um, you couldn't have gotten 11 contracts because it would push you over $1,000 max. So if you're not committing over, up to, but never more than a thousand, that gets you 10 contracts, that'd make you $1,480 gross. 1460 or better net depending on what your commission rate is you know but bottom line is that you say look that's how you can make an average of about 150 percent on a trade that hits both of its targets 100 and 200 percent on each half
you can see the speed. Speed of movement is critical if you're into options trading, right? If you're an options buyer, you want the speed. If you're an options seller, you probably don't want the speed, right? You probably want something that's slow and steady and basically just going to let that time erosion work for you if you sell premium. This strategy says no, you would never want to sell premium and make a small little gain like a credit spread trader would when you could make a much bigger gain buying a cheap option and watching it get multiplied fairly quickly in this case. Of course, this is Caterpillar. We've got the Caterpillar 290 strike call. Notice where both of these together crossed up right on that bar's close when the stock was trading about 262 and a half here. Right, 262 and a half. You say, look, we're buying a 290 call. It's about 27 points out of the money, right? 27 and a half points out of the money. That's basically 10, almost 11 percent out of the money from where we got in. Well, you think Caterpillar? It doesn't move that much, does it? Look back to the left. You see how slow it's been, and yet we're buying that because our system says it should be go time. It should be time to say that if you're going to get a breakout. This is where you tend to see it when both of these indicators say we're taking off together in, in simultaneous fashion. We call this double confirmation, right? Because we're getting both of those indicators flying together. And of course, the stock flies into that first day's close. Big gap up the next day gets us our first target when the stock's rallied. You can see about 15 points, about 277 and a half. That's what 15 points sounds like a lot, but it's really only about a 6% move in the stock. 6% is a nice move though. 53 cents is what we paid to control those options. Uh, and think about that. We paid $53 for each 100 shares would have cost you over 26 grand. You can see how your leverage here is massive that you can structure here these trades where yeah, it doesn't take that much of a move to get paid. And of course we ring the register fast, right? We're in on a Wednesday, midday, we're out. Uh, you can see late Thursday, early Friday. We've, we've sold the second piece out 201% change. So again, we were able to get on $1,000, you could get 18 contracts at 53 bucks a piece. That would make you a $1,476 gross profit. What about the downside? Well, you wanna see the same principle now in reverse. Both the, uh, the CCI and the percent R must be breaking down below their threshold values on that same exact hourly bars close, which is happening here on Zillow. The stock's trading here near about 50 and a half. You say, wow, you got to buy out to a 45 strike put. Remember, if you're a put buyer, that's a right to sell the stock at 45. You can see our first target here at the at the first box where we make our double when it gaps down a couple of days later. And on a Wednesday, Friday morning, it gaps down here to about 47 and a half to 48. And we're not even to the 45 strike rate, right? So we're saying, look, we paid 55 cents. It's $55 to control 100 shares of stock that would cost about five grand. And then we got the first target at a double. You have the free trade. And this one did not keep going. It went down a little bit more to low of 46 and three quarters. But you can see, then it starts coming back up. And we say, you know what? It's no longer checking the boxes for us. We're saying that this is basically too slow at this point. So now let's hop on out. Got out in the second piece actually a little bit lower than where we got out of the first piece. And why do we only get a 23% gain? Because you've lost some time value. You've lost some of the sizzle of that prior very strong downtrend. And so we take 23% of the second half, right? But you add those two halves up, divide by two, that'd be about a 61.5% gain, $612 of profit gross on 18 contracts before commission, right? So not a home run, but still a healthy 60% win for about four days worth of work. So what about trades that don't work? Our rule is that if, if the trade is not working after the first full trading day that we've been in it, that afternoon, and so say we bought at midday uh, today, we would wait till tomorrow afternoon in the final hour of the trading day. If it's not at or better than where we were on a bull trade or, or at or below on a bear trade where we got in, we will not hold that option anymore. So we give it a full trading day to breathe. After that, each and every day going forward, that trade must prove that it's worth holding by being a better than where we got in on a buy or below where we got in for a sell on the, compared to the stock. So the idea is that stock's working, might be a little slow, like the example we showed you at the beginning there on MPC, but basically it was hanging in there on, on, on a daily close. And we said, look, structure's still good. Let's hang in as well. But if it starts to violate that structure or it's going negative, after the first full day, we get rid of it. Here's one that did not work. This is MGM, the uh, casino operator. We bought the January calls back in December. 
it looked like it was breaking out on both of our indicators, percent R and CCI together. And you see that CCI is a commodity channel index, by the way, but I use it for individual stocks that are trending. Uh, it's one of my favorites, actually, along with Larry Williams' percent range indicator turned into a trend following indicator when it goes into the top 20% of its readings. But bottom line is more on the indicators. But the idea is that, look, this one should have fired. It starts to fire into the close, and then boom, we got a gap down against us the next morning. Why didn't we get out right away on the gap down? Because we said, look, we want to get to the end of that day. We still have a, plenty of time in this thing. Sometimes those trades will come back and reverse. But if it was going to do that, you can see it needed to be up where it was, about 45.6 by the end of that first that following day, which is the first full day in the trade. It's about a point below those levels. So we said, you know what? Better to say uncle here, take the 34.38% loss. On 10 contracts, that's a $330 loss. Say, it happens. You know, better to get rid of a trade that's not working. As you know, how do trades turn into big losses? A lot of times they start out as small losses, right? You need to follow the success profile of what works. When it's working, let it keep working, at least for part of your trade. That's when we only take half out of the double. But if it's not working, get rid of the whole thing. Don't average down. That's another cardinal trading mistake you cannot afford to make with your trading capital. So a trade will typically hit its 100% target quickly. You get the free trade after that to let it ride until it gets to the 200% target thereafter. Here's another example of Best Buy. Proved to be a Best Buy for our home run traders. You can see that we were getting into the next leg up, right? It already had a prior move up. But now it's crossing above both of these right into that hourly close there. Stock's trading up just under 72. We're buying the 75 strike calls. Uh, this is in December out into the mid-January expiration. We paid 79 cents, $79 to control 100 shares of stock that would have cost you 7,200 bucks. So you're almost at 100 to 1, uh, maybe 90 to 1 leverage there, right? So the idea is that, look, it makes that first move up into the next morning from a Friday to a Monday morning. Of course, it doesn't trade on the weekend. Next trading morning, Monday morning, we're up to 74 and a half, almost to the 75 strike, right? We have rallied from out of the money to near the money. And thus, the, that time premium has, it, it, the time premium will always be the biggest at the money, right? At $75 where you have the maximum amount of time premium in that trade. So when we get up into that, a lot of times we want to be taking half out there and then see if it can continue. And you can see it paused for a little bit after you sold half of the double. It was a pause at refresh. Look, we're getting two retests coming in, percent R retest and CCI retest right into those key lows near 74 support. And then the next day it launches up to 75 and a half. We say ring the register on the final piece up 203%, $1,452 gross profit. Okay, so I know I don't have a lot of time here. I know I'm blowing through here, but I want you to make sure you don't miss out on what this involves. We call it our home run intro offer. or give you an intro price point to try it out, not just for the next 30 days, uh, but we want to actually give you something that's going to give you three months to try it out. OK, but at the equivalent of what you'd pay on my website if you bought it for 30 days, so I'm going to give you three times as much time in value. Right. It's usually 297 bucks a month, $891 of value just on the trade alerts alone, not to mention the other bonuses I'm going to give you when you get signed up today. You see that I'm going to give you a, a full hour strategy session I did teaching the home run option strategy. That alone is worth a lot more than 97 bucks. If you can find a trade that can make you $1,500 on $1,000 invested, I'd say it's at least worth that. But I'm biased, obviously. But I, you know, having done this a long time, I know, hey, one trade can, can give you a massive ROI on the investment you're making today in the Home Run Options Trader program. I'm also gonna give you weekly video training. I walk you through what we did the last week, what I'm thinking things are gonna look like for the next week for Home Run Options Trades, and always explaining a trade, whether it won or whether it lost. You know that everything's always accounted for and talked about, win, lose, or draw. So settings and rule sheet, you can actually follow this along and, and along at home, and you can also see that we're there for you with a dedicated email address to me and my research team and my analysts if you have any questions about any trade we call out something's not clear to you you can email us we'll give you that of course we've also got our 800 big trends line if you need to call us for any reason about your subscription and your account um, uh, as it relates to the big trends account so bottom line is that that's 988 dollars actually i'd say way over a thousand bucks value but you know what i'm going to do i'm going to slash it down for you today way below a thousand i'm going to slash it down here to just until midnight tonight the equivalent of paying just for 30 days would be 297 bucks i'm going to give you three months 
for the price of one month. It'll only cost you $297. You get it for three months. I get your average cost per month down under 100 bucks per month on average. Of course, you have to lock in the full three months at the 297 with this super special. Where do you go? You go to that link there. It's members.bigtrends.com forward slash intro. All right, so when you go to that page, it's really simple. I'm all about the KISS principle in my trading and in my order pages and everything else, keeping it simple. You go to that page, this is what it'll look like. It'll show you, okay, you've got your payment info on the right, your billing information for your credit card on the left. It's a secure, secure page, 25 years in business. We're here to guide you through that. Also on the bottom, you can see there's a the PayPal link too. So all we ask is that in order to lock this in, we've taken all the promo code discounts to make it the monthly price 297. Actually, we're giving you now three months instead. So you're not paying 891, you're paying just 297. You get three months, the next 90 days worth of trades. How many trades do you get? On average, a couple of trades a week. So you think about it over three months, you should be getting around 25 trades over the next three months. And that's basically getting your cost down to under 12 bucks a trade. And one trade on a thousand bucks invested could, uh, if it hits both targets, can make you around 1500 bucks or so, 1450 to 1500 in the examples I showed you here. So bottom line is that all we ask is that re read the terms and conditions. Uh, like I said, 25th year in business, agree to the terms. They're spelled out here below as well. And up at the top right, as well as at the bottom, it shows you our, our uh, points where you can contact us. 800-244-8736, but the easy way to remember that, it's 1-800-BIG-TRENDS. Or you can email my customer service team via clientcare at bigtrends.com. So it's all available when you go to that link. It's members, on the bottom of this page here, members.bigtrends.com forward slash intro for this introduction offer. It's not a WW link, mind you. It's a members.bigtrends.com link, right? So make a note of that, members.bigtrends.com forward slash intro. Now, real quick, I also want to show you too what it looks like when you get a trade. What are you buying, right? I get this question if it's not clear if I've race through too many examples here. What you're buying is you're buying the trade alerts and the education to go with it. This is not a recommendation now. This is what we did this past week here, right? This was saying, look, buy to open the Marathon Petroleum. We bought the April 200 calls last week, right? Don't buy it now. March 6th, a week ago, 11.31 a.m. Okay, so we sent it out real time to all of our home run option traders, said get it in at a buck or less. We ended up getting filled at like 92, 93 cents. I think it was 92 cents. Right. So then you go through and you say, OK, well, then if I go back and look at my other MPC targets, you say targets, targets, targets. And you see we were already getting them booked here with some other trades out there that we got. But bottom line is that you can see uh, we also got out of AA today, too. But look, we Bank America hit its target just the other day, too. We've been hitting a lot of targets lately, but you get the idea. We follow up on everything. Win, lose or draw. You're never left hanging. I'm a big believer in that. Again, if you think about the what this has done for our home run options traders going back to the beginning of 2021, knowing that I can't predict the future, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. What I will guarantee you is I will keep, my team and I will keep following the system on each and every trade. We like to say that the names and the symbols will change that we trade, but the pattern tends to remain the same, right? So we're trading this pattern consistently, rigorously to make sure that we execute it and make your job so much easier as a trader to help you really lock that in. So like I said, when you think about the most common questions we get real quick, I know I'm tight on time, got a couple minutes left, but basically we're buying calls or puts. We're, our average price here in the last 12 months per trade was 79 cents, 79 bucks to control each hundred shares. You could get started with as little as two option contracts on average, that would have been about 160 bucks that it would have cost you per trade if you're just trying two contracts at a time. How many trades a month? Up to about eight new trades a month. We send these trades out at the close of any hour. It could be at 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, even 2.30. Right in the middle of the day is our sweet spot, and that gives you plenty of time to get in before the close and take advantage of this. How long will we be in a trade? Two trading days, up to 10 trading days, but most of these hit in the course of about a week or so, as, as you saw. You get the real-time email alerts, and also you can get it sent to you via WhatsApp on your smartphone too with no additional charge from us. So you get my strategy session, my settings and rules, weekly video training, dedicated email address. It doesn't get much better than that. And again, a reminder of just the trade that we cashed in on CVS. Uh, you can see made it 100 and 200% targets in just about a week. Uh, 10 contracts made $1,480 gross. So like I said, where do you go? You go to members.bigtrends.com forward slash intro. It's not a WW. So make sure you make a note of that, please. Members.bigtrends.com forward slash intro to lock in that phenomenal three months for just the price of one 
available till midnight tonight. Thank you so much, Dave, for having me. It's always a pleasure to share with you what's working for our big trends community. And I look forward to folks coming in and joining on this. If you have any questions, folks, you can also call us at 800 Big Trends or email clientcare at bigtrends.com. Appreciate it, Dave. Thanks so much.